I'm Vanessa Rose. I am the daughter of an Italian-American mother and Chilean immigrant father. My style of food is simple and fresh. Life has taken me on many food ventures. Tuna fishing in Cabo San Lucas, taking in the sights and tastes of Europe, or preparing meals in our family kitchen. The best of life centered around food, laughter, and love. Phoenix is now my home, where there's always a reason to gather around a table. My kitchen is full of cooking ideas that will make meals fun. God invites us into the greatest hide-and-seek adventure by exploring the flavors He put in this earth. Let's discover fresh flavors and taste new foods. Join me and my friends as we celebrate all of life's finest occasions by indulging in vibrant eats. Together we'll enjoy this beautiful life as we create each beautiful bite. It's summertime here in Arizona and flowers are blooming. Bees are buzzing and the nectar is flowing. You could say we're living in a pollination. Right around the corner is World Honey Bee Day. To celebrate, I'll be hosting a crafting party for all my beautiful queen bees. We'll sample the sweetness of the season and create fun, reusable beeswax wraps to package our treats for home. But first, it's off to see my friend and local bee man, the eccentric Marc Fratou. His honey is the most exotic you'll ever taste. It's raw, unfiltered, and oh so good. I'll be flying by his hive to see what all the buzz is all about. Harvesting organic honey that we'll be using to make some lighter fare for our gathering. We'll start with honey ginger chicken bites. This protein-packed snack is excellent for any kickback. Sizzling chicken breast seared with spicy ginger and sticky honey. The combination is zesty, tart, and lip-smacking good. A tender and savory bite. Next, we'll create scrumptious and sweet bruschetta. Tart and smooth goat cheese spread atop fresh bread with a delicate slice of raw figs and a honey drizzle on top. This hors d'oeuvre burst with the complex flavors of summer. Upping the fancy in this fabulous bite. And let's finish our lineup with no-bake honey oat balls. The sweetness of the honey is the optimal contrast to the bitterness of the dark cacao nibs. Cinnamon and vanilla give that rustic spice. The perfect dessert to pair with a refreshing glass of honey lavender tea. A bite that's delectably luxurious. Join me as we prepare these beautiful bites. This is definitely going to be quite a food venture. I am off right now to see Mark, my fun, eccentric bee man, and he is going to stick me inside of a bee suit, and I am going to go inside of a hive of killer bees. You know, bees are truly incredible creatures that God made, and the way that they pollinate the flowers, and they're so beautiful, and their, their buzzing noise is scary, actually. It's not really pretty. It's scary. I hate, my, I hate bees. Oh my God. I hate bees. Why am I going inside? <laughs> okay, I don't hate bees. We wouldn't have food if it wasn't for bees. Bees are wonderful creatures. They're just scary and they hurt. Put my feet in. There. Yeah, on the one okay. of them. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. And the other one, one. and then the other. Right. Okay. Hands. You're gonna sweat a little bit. You're gonna sweat a little? Yeah, just a little bit. It's okay. Bit. It'll be okay. 
Well, this is the last time you're going to see this beautiful young lady. <laughs> Bye. Now she's going to become a beekeeper. A beekeeper. Yay. All right. And let's make sure that we leave only one, one little space for the bee to go in. For the bee to go in. All right. She's a queen. You see that? A it's queen. Still... Look at this. Uh-oh. I think wrong one. No, that's right. That's the left hand. That's, this is my left hand. <laughs> So it should be the right hand, so the bees aren't getting in. No, 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 not. If they, if they do, then, you know... Then it's over. I'm going to have a talk with them. <laughs> Tell I them to be nice to me. I like their honey. Yeah, you, well, that's the problem. Oh, okay, so they don't want they me to don't like, like their honey. They don't like us because we take their honey. We take their honey. Yeah. My husband says the same thing. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> that's good. You're the honey, he has I the money. I am the honey. There you are. And he has Thank the you. money. You're right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> well, I am Yay, the bee. so we're going inside to see the bees. I don't know if I speak B Mark. Are they going to be nice to me? <laughs> well, we'll find out. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. They are going to be. I don't say the bees sting. The bees only kisses you. The bees kiss you. And you'll remember forever. <laughs> Try to oh my get gosh. them ready. You can come inside. Come inside. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'm open it up a little bit. Oh my goodness! Go. My stomach just drops. We're no, good. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. You know the reason is because we already. I touched the hive and they sense the you know the vibration okay you can hear the noise now wow how beautiful and you see them over here on the fan the thing oh my goodness and how you beautiful can tell they are killer bees by the color you know in the european bees are very yellow but this those are very dark and it's a hybrid it's not 100 percent killer bees uh, because of the the queen it's you know percentage of the you know with the Africanized and the European bee if you put your face close over there put your face close you feel the air conditioning like air conditioning Wow you can yes. oh my you actually yes. feel, yeah, you the... feel the 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 wing flopping and it create that's why they maintain the temperature in the hive so the honey does not smell even in 120 degrees you know basically this is a male oh okay okay male doesn't have a stinger it oh, never sting. So, so the, the male, male bees don't sting, but yes. they still make honey. No, the male, it's, you know, the... I know a lot of human it's males. A drone. It's a drone, <laughs> meaning good for nothing. Because the only, only what it does, it mates once in his life and he die. This is a queen cell. You see how big it is? Uh-huh. That's why they make it in case they need the queen, something happen with the queen, so they can create right away a new queen cell. And so what makes a queen? Why is a queen the special chosen one? Well, the queen is the only one that lay eggs. Okay. She's the one lay eggs, 1,500 eggs per day. Every day she lays a lot of different eggs. Wow. That is so incredible. They're truly magnificent little creatures, aren't they? Oh, they are. Oh, they are all my goals. For it's all so of you who love honey, look at the amount of work that goes into just how much honey will this create? One piece here. A bee creates a tenth of a teaspoon in 45 days lifespan. Between one and ten, uh, how uh, aggressive? This is like uh, number uh, number one. Okay. You never see anything above that. This is. If I have bees like this, they'll be like a picnic. They have a worker bees, then they have the scouts, then they do a dance in front when they found honey. This queen is amazing. She, look at pattern, how beautiful pattern she does. That is, so she, she's kind of the one then that manages and... and, and she's the one laying the eggs. She's but this the is one a laying very eggs. good queen. Wow. I tell you, Mark, I'm never going to look at bees the same way now that I've been this close to them. This is incredible. Well, now, like, like I said, you know, you have to be careful because this is, this is a very, very nice and gentle. So it, it can be a very dangerous thing, is what you're saying. It's, while they're incredible, you still have to be very careful with bees and yes. be very cautious. Let, look at look that. At that. Now this is already, you can harvest it because this is age and honey will never spoil, never. Once they finish up all the way to the bottom. How fascinating. Thank you so much. Let's go in now and see okay. how you harvest the All yummy right. honey. We'll go in there. Maybe try a little bit of honey. Mm. Oh, you will try. Everybody's going to try a little Oh, honey. we love honey. <laughs> so what are we doing here? What am okay, I doing? Okay, now do? we need to decap the honey. Okay. This is right now aged by the bees with the wax. We need to take it over in order to get the honey out. So this, this knife is piping hot. That's correct. So you can hold, take the honey okay. knife. Okay. And you're starting from the bottom. Let me let me go this yeah. way a little bit. You're starting from, we start from the bottom. A little bit angle, a little, little bit of angles. angle like this. And you start going like this. Yeah. Okay. And then you take and it then out you... and do this. Go okay, like this. Good. So, but I, I don't want to take too much, right? You, you go between wood and wood. So you'll be okay. Very okay. Good. Oops. Yeah. Sorry. You're doing very good. 
perfect. All right. Wow. Go in there. Oh my goodness, Next I'm one. harvesting honey. So between wood and wood. Wood and wood, yes. And then that way it won't go too deep. That's correct. And then look at all that just beeswax in there, correct, Mark? You guys call it beeswax, but it's honey, honey and the wax. It's honey we and We call wax. it decap, you know, when you're decapping. That's what okay. you're doing right now. You're decapping. Decapping the, the honeycomb? The honeycomb, yes. And with this, you can you can do this and you go and comb it. Just like and you, you comb, comb it, you like comb, you comb your yes, hair. Yes, yeah, you comb your hair. So you just want to take this out of here. Yes, there you go. Okay. So, perfect. Perfect. All right, look now at pick that. it up. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Isn't All that right. beautiful? We, this is a uh, four frame instructor. You just clean up the, the wax and we're going to put them inside. And it's a manual extractor, you know, okay. so you don't damage the frames. You can put your hands on there when you start okay. feeling the, feeling a little bit. Uh, the, keep going, keep going a little. Put whole hands together. Okay, now, all right, keep going faster. Okay, now you go. Oh, there, there we you go. go. Watch okay. your finger here. Oh, okay. All right, keep going, keep going. Am I extracting honey? That's correct. You see, the honey is going on the sides of the of the lid by the wow. centrifuge. Keep going faster and faster. Okay. There you go. Today you feel like you, I get my you went to the gym. Yes. You went to the gym. All right, we leave it alone. Okay. We're gonna pry a little break in here. And now we're gonna take the frame out. If you look. Oh my it's goodness, empty. it's clean. The, yeah, you see all the honey just came out versus this side. Okay. Wow. So now we flip it over. So and you just flip them all over then? Each one of them. Okay, now with this one we do 100%. So what do you mean? Just Meaning we get all the honey out. Okay. Because so it's only, the other side was 50% out. And you can see, you see how the honey comes out it's on spinning. the walls? Yes. That's beautiful. And if you look in the bottom, the honey comes up inside, raises up in the thing. Feel the difference now. It's getting a lot lighter. Yes. All right, so we're going to give a break. Okay. All right. so, now so now we can open the the bottom again. Do you want to move? Or can you? Look at that. Wow. So this is just pure yeah. Palo Verde honey? Yep. Just give it a little... Yep, give it a little uh, oh quality control taste. Look at how incredible this is. This is all that delicious golden honey. What they are making right now, isn't that magnificent? Oh my goodness, that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at all of them just moving about, going to work. I would not be doing this if I was not wearing this fabulous bee suit. <laughs> no, I cannot find the queen. This is absolutely hashtag food venture worthy. Look at all this incredible work being done. Next time you enjoy some yummy honey. Oh, here's the queen, here is the queen. Oh, look Take the at picture. her. Take it. Look All at right. there she is. You see the queen? That is the queen yes. bee right there. She's laying eggs. You can tell on the, on the back she comes something white thing. That's, you see how they take care of the queen? Those are the guards following the queen. So the queen has guards that follow yes, her. Yes, and they feed her. The queen does not eat by herself. There she is, the beautiful queen bee. What a rare and special sighting. The queen bee is so special, so precious, and so important to the life of a colony that she usually is not seen. The bees cover her, they nurture her, and they protect her. Seeing her today reminds me of another queen found in the Bible, a queen by the name of Esther. Although just a girl, she was called. She was special, she was chosen. But I'm sure at times she felt hidden, unseen and unimportant. At the right time, God elevated her. He favored her and he used her to save his people. Look at how incredible. So see she they has cover, her little guards see how they cover her. her? Yes. They cover her. Why does she look so different? Why is she so long? Because that's the queen. The queen always different. I suppose it's much like Queen Esther then, huh? You bet. What an incredible experience that was to be able to go out with Mark and see all of those killer bees. I have to admit, it was a little intimidating and scary at first, but what a fun experience. It was so fascinating to see these incredible creatures that God created that are truly miraculous and make this delicious sweet substance that is honey. We are gonna make a honey ginger chicken now. I'm gonna make it as an appetizer today. So we are going to use ginger. 
This is one of those ingredients that might be a little bit intimidating to you in the grocery store. Very easy to use. Use a spoon to peel it. Mince it up really well, but you need to make sure to have a sharp knife. We have one tablespoon of fresh minced ginger, one Fresno pepper minced. This pepper is not nearly as hot as a jalapeno or something else. It's a lot more mild, but it is a great flavor and it's a pretty color. It's red. Use a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a teaspoon of whole grain mustard. This gives a nice little bite to each bite because you have the actual whole grains of the mustard and it's delicious. And now of course the honey. We're going to use a half a cup. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Oh. I have to tell you, after harvesting the honey myself now and seeing the way it comes out of the honeycomb and seeing how many bees it takes to make this much honey, it makes me appreciate it that much more quarter teaspoon of cayenne. I like a little bit of a kick in my food. Let's whisk it together. We're gonna add a half teaspoon of salt. Mix that together and that should be nice and delicious. You wanna give it a little taste really quick just to make sure everything seems nice and balanced. Mm. It's sweet, it's spicy, you taste the ginger, it's so delicious. We're gonna take two skinless boneless chicken breasts, cube them up to your desired size, and we're gonna go ahead and put this on the stove on a hot skillet. Add some salt, a little bit of pepper. Give it a nice little stir here. Once the chicken is almost cooked through, it'll be about five minutes or so. Now you're gonna to wanna to add the sauce so that it can cook down for about another five minutes, coat the chicken, absorb all the yummy flavor, and also cook down to a nice, thick consistency. Mm, you can smell the ginger, the cayenne, the garlic, the honey, oh, as it's coating that chicken, it's so delicious. Mm -mm -mm, look at that. We got that beautiful bubbling throughout. We lowered the heat halfway through. We don't want to cook it down too much. So now we're going to turn the heat off and we're going to gently spoon the chicken out of here into a clean bowl. Let's pull all this out. And here we are left with a delicious dipping sauce. Let's try a bite. This is so good and I know that my friends are going to love it. Mmm. Mmm. It's sweet, it's spicy. It's herbaceous, it's so, oh my goodness, it's so big and so delicious. This is definitely gonna be a hit. I love summer because there are so many incredible ingredients that come out that are only available for small amounts of time. And one of those ingredients is these beautiful little fruits that you may have seen in the produce aisle and you're like, what is that? They're figs, they are delicious, they are sweet, and they are absolutely a gift of the summer season. So we are going to make a delicious bruschetta, which is going to be a little bit of sliced bread with some room temperature goat cheese and these delicious figs and some delicious honey drizzled over them. They are sweet and they are decadent. Slice some pieces. You can use any sort of bread. Typically, I try to stay away from white breads, but with the bruschetta, it's really hard not to use a good loaf or a good baguette or something. We're not actually gonna toast the bread this time. A lot of times, bruschetta those are toasted bread. Give yourself thin little slices. Let's go ahead and cut our figs. So you just want to cut the top off, but you can eat the skin. Just make sure to rinse them and then just cut it in half. And this is the way I like to do it. So you see that beautiful richness inside of there. Mm, they are so sweet. There's this honey richness flavor to figs that you can't get from any other fruit. It's going to give a nice little slice to these. There's really no right or wrong way to slice a fig, just however suits you. <laughs> Perfect. And now we're just going to take a little bit of goat cheese. Again, you wanna make sure it's room temperature. 
The great thing about goat cheese is it's a little bit tart, so it is a wonderful pairing to something like a fig and honey that is so sweet. A tiny bit of salt and pepper. Salt is always good for everything. And then we're gonna want just a little bit of pepper just to give it a little bit more of a rounded flavor. And now, a delicious, sweet, golden substance of honey. Look at that. Is that not a beautiful bite? Mmm. Mmm. The richness and the creaminess and the tartness of the goat cheese, the sweetness of the fig and the honey, that little bite of black pepper, truly a beautiful, perfect bite. Join the conversation and follow us on all social media platforms. Making one of my recipes at home? Snap a photo and post it with hashtag It's a Beautiful Bite. Going on your own food venture? Take photos and post them with hashtag Food Ventures. Have your own Jesus moment to share? Share it with hashtag Jesus Moment. Visit us at It's a Beautiful Bite. Dot com for recipes from this episode and so much more. Honey is so great because it's such a wonderful alternative to refined sugar and it's sweet and it's delicious and it's really a great source of energy. These delicious no-bake oatmeal balls are absolutely yummy and they are a great little bite to have to put out for a party, to have as a little bite of dessert, as a little bit of an indulgence, and they are great for a nice little pick-me-up even throughout the day, and they're super easy to make. We're gonna start with some craisins, and we just wanna do a rough chop on these. Then we have cacao nibs. So these are super crunchy, and they can be a little bit bitter if you eat them on their own, but they are a super food. They are full of incredibly wonderful antioxidants. Use one and a half cup of cacao nibs and then almond butter. I love almond butter. If you don't like almond butter, you can use peanut butter, any type of nut butter you would like to use. We're gonna do about four tablespoons. There's no way to do this other than to get a little bit messy. <laughs> Clean hands are the best tools in the kitchen. We're gonna do one cup of rolled oats, two cups of flaxseed, one and a half tablespoons of pure vanilla extract, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of some nice warm nutmeg. Now, you can use your hands to do this, you can use a spoon. It's sticky, it's messy, it's delicious. <laughs> That's why this is super fun if you have kids in your house to, to make this with them. So you're just gonna mix this up a little bit because there's so many different textures and consistencies. You get the nice sweetness from the craisin, you get the nice bitterness and crunch from the cacao nibs, and lots of nutritious values in here. A half a teaspoon of salt, and we're gonna do a cup and a half of some delicious, beautiful, fresh, local, harvested honey. Mmm. Honey is so pretty, isn't it? It's this beautiful gold, just luscious substance. Perfect. Now, I'm not gonna stick my hands in there or else I'm not gonna be able to clean for a while. So you're gonna wanna mix all this up and then stick it in the refrigerator for about half an hour or the freezer for about 10 minutes so that we can go ahead and roll these into balls and not have them stick all over our hands. I went ahead and let that sit in the refrigerator for about half an hour, cleaned everything up, and now I'm going to prepare to have my girlfriends over so we can make those really great reusable beeswax wraps. Before they do, I might have a little bite myself. Mmm. Mmm. You can probably hear that crunch. It is so good, it's sweet, it's delicious. They are gonna love to take these home and have a little treat.
I made some lavender tea honey. You want to try some? Thank you. Yes, of course. It smells you are. Good. I know, doesn't it? Well, cheers, ladies. Yes. Hi. Cheers. Mm. What are we making today? Um, so these are reusable beeswax wraps. You want to go ahead and take this. You just scatter a little bit of the beeswax on there. So I got to go to this great guy here, Mark, Arizona Honey, and I got to actually pull the honeycomb out of the beehive, and then I got to take it and harvest it, and it was the coolest thing, and like the bees were swarming, and sure. I learned how to talk bee when I was there. Did you get some? <laughs> no. Good. Because I learned how to really well. <laughs> how do you say hello in bee? <laughs> So if you were to like take these home, you just take it and you would just wrap it like this and the heat from your hands makes it stick. And so then it becomes like plastic. So then if you just hold it for a second in the heat of your hands, then it is, it seals itself. Can I pick so it there up? You go. Yeah. See. So see neat. it? Yeah, it's very cool. So it's really neat because then you can just it smells save good. it and it smells good. Like, and it, it's a fun little project to do and it's green and it's reusable. Well, ladies, thank you so much for stopping by. It's been so much fun. Yes. Oh, so good to Aww, see you. Good to see you. Yes. 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 Always so fun to have you oh, ladies oh, sorry, over. Man. Yes, thank you, ladies. Always so much fun. Does someone want to take the pretty flowers home? You can come on in here. Oh, I love I'm just that. being corny. <laughs> <laughs> he mates once in his life when he died. <laughs> There's so many things I could say. Okay. <laughs> I need to learn how to do this dance. Yeah, right. you're right. To do a little dance. No, because with my you might you might attract some males around. You know who knows. <laughs> I just smoked bees. <laughs> no, I can't breathe. Okay. It's done. Oh my god, it's hot. <laughs> I forgot it's actually hot. It's an enter evil laughter. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 Just because you didn't laugh at my bee puns. <laughs> I think we should play Queen Bee now. Who runs the yeah. world? Charles. <laughs> 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 should I get down? <laughs> <laughs> Girls. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>